Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we'll be walking you through the process of installing Windows 11 on your Mac using a powerful tool called VirtualBox. If you haven't installed VirtualBox yet, don't worry, we've got you covered. Simply click the download link in the video description and download VirtualBox for Mac. Now, what is VirtualBox? Essentially, it's a program that lets you create and run virtual machines on your Mac. This is a popular method for running Windows, setting up servers, or testing other operating systems without affecting your main setup. As we go through this tutorial, we'll also touch on some key VirtualBox settings to ensure everything runs smoothly. If you're looking for Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at great prices, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The first step in this process is to download the Windows 11 disk image ISO file. Since it's a large file, we recommend starting the download now so it can run in the background while we move on to the next steps. To do this, head over to the official Windows 11 download page. I will leave the link in the video description for you. Once you're on the page, scroll down to the section labeled Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Select Windows 11, multi-edition from the drop-down menu. Click Download. Choose your preferred language and press Confirm. Finally, click the Download button. I've already downloaded the file, so I won't need to do it again. All right, so as you can see, my disk image file is here on the desktop, and now we're going to open VirtualBox and start our virtual machine setup. Now it's time to set up our first virtual machine in VirtualBox. To get started, I'll click the New button, which will bring up a window where we need to enter some basic details. Name. I'll name it Windows 11. Type select Microsoft Windows. Version. Choose Windows 11 for 64-bit. This matches the version we downloaded earlier. Once everything is set, I'll press Continue to move on to the next step. Next, we need to allocate memory, RAM, for our virtual machine. Windows 11 requires at least 4 gigabytes, 4,096 megabytes of RAM, which is the default setting. If your system has more RAM, such as 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes, you can allocate additional memory for better performance. However, I'll leave it at the default value and press Continue. Now for storage, we need to create a virtual hard disk. I'll select Create a Virtual Hard Disk and press Create. I'll leave the format as Virtual Box Disk Image VDI and press Continue. For storage type, I'll choose Dynamically Allocated, which means the disk will expand as needed instead of taking up a fixed amount of space up front. This is the recommended option, so I'll leave it as is and press Continue. Finally, I'll press Create, and our virtual machine setup is now complete. Now that we've completed the basic setup of our virtual machine, there are a few additional settings we need to adjust before running it properly. We'll jump into Settings, and in the General tab, we'll leave everything as it is. Under System, we'll also leave most settings unchanged, but make sure that Enable EFI is checked. Since we don't need a floppy disk, you can uncheck it if you'd like. Next, we'll move to the Display tab. By default, the video memory slider is set in the middle. We'll drag it all the way to the right to maximize performance. We also want to enable 3D acceleration for better graphics support. Now, over to the Storage tab. By default, this will say Empty under the optical drive. Click on the empty disk, then check the Live CD slash DVD box. Next, click on the small disk icon next to it, which will bring up a menu where you choose the ISO file we downloaded. Once you've completed these steps, your settings should look like this. Double check that everything is correctly configured, then press OK to save your changes. Now we're ready to boot into Windows 11. Simply press Start to launch the virtual machine. When prompted, press any key on your keyboard to boot from the CD you'll now see the Windows 11 setup screen. Click Next, but do not click Install Now just yet. Before proceeding with the installation, we need to bypass some Windows 11 system requirements to ensure it runs properly on VirtualBox. 
To do this, hold down Function, Fn, Shift, and press F10 on your keyboard. This will open the command prompt window. Next, we'll use the command prompt to access the registry editor, which will allow us to modify certain settings. Type the following command, then press Enter to open the registry editor. Now that the registry editor is open, follow along as we adjust a few settings to bypass the system requirements. Under HKE Local Machine, click the drop down arrow and navigate to System. Scroll down to Setup, right click it, hover over New, and then click Key. A new key folder will appear. Rename it to Lab Config and press Enter. Now right click anywhere in the empty space inside Lab Config. Go to New and select Doored, 32-bit value. Repeat this two more times so that you have three new values. Each one needs to be renamed as follows. Next, we need to modify each value. Right click, bypass TPM check, select modify, change the value from zero to one, and press OK. Repeat the same process for bypass RAM check and bypass secure boot check. Once all three values have been modified, close the registry editor by clicking X. Now, we're ready to proceed with the installation. Click Install Now to continue. Here, you have to enter your product key. This is usually emailed to you after purchasing Windows 11. If you have any issues finding it, feel free to let us know in the comments below. I've just pasted in my product key, and I'm simply going to press Next. Once the license agreement pop-up appears, check I accept and press Next. Now I'm going to select custom install, and then we'll press next. At this point, Windows will begin installing. We'll just let it do its thing, and I'll skip ahead to when the installation's complete. All right, so my Windows 11 installation has just finished. Now we have a little bit of setup left to go through. Since we're in the United States, we'll select yes, and then select yes again. Press next to continue. All right, you may have noticed that the screen size is small and the mouse movement is laggy. This happens because Guest Editions is not yet installed. To fix this, I'll move my mouse to the top of the VirtualBox VM menu. And under Devices, I'll click Insert Guest Editions CD Image. Once we've clicked on Insert Guest Editions CD Image, we'll head over to File Explorer. Here, you'll see the CD drive. VirtualBox Guest Editions. This is what we need to install. With it selected, we'll run the application VBox Windows Editions by double-clicking it. We'll press Yes when prompted and then simply follow the setup wizard, leaving everything at its default settings, and press Install. Once the installation is complete, we'll press Finish and Windows will automatically reboot. Now that it's booting back into Windows, you'll notice that it's in full screen. Everything is now running smoothly, and the screen automatically resizes when switching between full screen and windowed mode. At this point, we're good to go. Windows 11 is fully installed and running on our Mac using VirtualBox. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If this video was helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're looking for Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.